I would just like to share with everyone another example folio just to make it clear that what you're all creating shouldn't look the same. Just to emphasise the fact that you are all creating your own individual work and that it all should, you know, flow from your own individual ideas. So I'm going to talk you through now um, the higher example folio, which I'm aware some National 5 or National 4 students may think is irrelevant, but just to open your mind to some other imagery to show you how something could develop to look very different. So in this one, you will see that the only thing that is different is that my drawing that I've chosen. You all need to have the exact same kind of things for investigation. When we move on to development, however, um, it has a slightly different approach in higher that it's a bit more thorough. So here we can see how the main image has been developed very simply into a line drawing, then adding layers with colour and texture, duplicating the main imagery into twos, threes, and then sometimes in fours, trying to work out the best colourway and the best layout options. Again, they're very clearly labelled and explanations have been made into why choices are there. And there's also um, the colour palette at the bottom to show how the colours are being kept consistent. In here, this motif has been decided upon and it has been tried in a straight repeat. The choice has then been made to further develop that motif and colours have been changed using the same consistent colour palette but it has given a very different look and the final motif on the right hand side here has then been chosen as the one to further develop. What we can see here then is further um, development of that motif, creating a mirror, almost tile-like image with clear link to an image placed into the market research. Now, as it currently stands, I want you to all be aware that we do not expect you to be at this advanced stage. This is just to give you an idea and maybe a visual as to where the project will be going in the coming weeks. Please look through at all of these pages and look at the amount of work and detail in terms of written notes that there are in this folio. It's important that you think as clearly as this about layout and explaining all of your ideas clearly to your teachers so that they can give you effective feedback. Please bear in mind you should only have up until the half drop repeat complete for now. That is all that we have asked you to do in assignments and that is all that you need to worry about at the moment. If you do feel that you wish to work on your folio and that you have gaps, now is the time to do so. There is no limit to the amount of further developing that you can do to your work. So look at your motif, potentially like the one at the top left, and think how you could then develop that, whether it's through colour or layout, and keep working until you exhaust an idea. Exhausting an idea is the best way for you to gain marks in design.